table, you say. Oh, he brought me to his banqueting table. When his banner Just give thanks to the Lord. Just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your banner over my life. God, in every season of my soul, it's love, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Oh, just look at our lives. On my good days, you love me. All my bad days, you love me. His banner over me, his banner over you, his banner over us is love, love, love. His banner over me, his banner over you, his banner over us is love, love, love. His banner over me, His banner over you, His banner over us is love, love, love. His banner over me, His banner over you, His banner over us. What is it? His banner over me, His banner over you, His banner over us is love, love, love. It's love. Shining in the light, 
shining the light of your glory. We pour out power and love as we sing, holy, holy. Oh, see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out, pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy, holy. Oh, holy, holy, holy. Oh, holy. Seraphim see. Oh, I want to see what John saw. I want to see you sing. I, I want to see you. I want to see you. High and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. We'll pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy, holy. And you've opened my eyes to your wonders anew. Captured my heart with this love Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you Do you believe that tonight? Nothing on earth You've opened my eyes to your wonders anew You've captured my heart with this love Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you Beautiful one, I love. Beautiful one, I adore. Beautiful one, my soul must sing. Beautiful, beautiful one, I love. Beautiful one, I adore. You beautiful. So my soul, my soul must sing. My soul, my soul must sing. My soul, my soul must sing. The beautiful one. Hey, hey, my soul, my soul must sing. My soul, my soul, a sing, a beautiful one, beautiful one, I love, a beautiful one, I adore you, beautiful one, my soul, my This room. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this. Highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, for you are holy. Holy, are you? Oh, 
Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, worthy is the Lamb. For you are holy. Oh, worthy is the Lamb. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God. Oh, holy, oh, holy, are you, Lord God Almighty? Hallelujah. I'm going to read that verse again because really I want it to sink in. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. Silver, silver represents salvation. God is a purifier of your salvation. Both in, in many ways. One in cleansing you as a person, but also to increase your understanding of the value of your salvation. So you see clearer and clearer and clearer as time goes on. You never reach the point where you've arrived with God. You've started on a journey. Remember that show Kung Fu? David Carradine, was, he headed off into the wilderness and every week he fought somebody. Well, it's a little bit like that for us. It's funny how the world does these shows that are quite prophetic. It's a little bit like that. We have to fight battles along the way. You know? And the better equipped we are and the sharper we are and the better trained we are, the more enjoyable the battle to a warrior. He actually likes fighting. See, Jesus has given us huge advantage because he's given us all the keys. He's given us everything we need to get the job done and enjoy it. Not only that, but to storm the gates when, not of hell, we don't need to worry about that, but to storm into the gates of heaven, be like Caleb, better than him because we're in Christ, and storm the gates of heaven when we were raised up to meet him in the air. It's like children who are happy to get home. They run in, they push the door open, they throw their school bag down on the ground, rip the shoes off, race inside, go into the fridge. <laughs> it's going to be pretty good. Then shall the offering of Judah, which is praise, and Jerusalem, I'm not real sure about that one, so I won't preach on it. So then the offering of, of, uh, offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in the former years. And I will come near to you in judgment and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and all these other losers. So the Lord of hosts. So what God wants to do is he wants to get the fire and he wants to purge us. Because it's not only good for us, but it's good for him. It's a sort of an all-round kind of win-win situation. Hallelujah. So, the anointing of the fire is real. It's not something that we dream it up. People say, oh, the trials of life, the fiery trials of life, you know, purge you. That's really good. I love that sort of thing and it's in there somewhere. But what I really like is the anointing of fire because those who are ready for it actually walk into it and come out not burnt. But they come out cleansed, as in Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego if you're in America or Abednego if you're in Australia. And when they came out of the fire... They were promoted. They went from near slavery to being promoted because they willingly went into the fire and they trusted God who was in there. When they got in, they didn't know. They walked in by faith. They get in there and there's somebody else. There was the fourth man. Yeah, he was. Thank God he was in there because they got cleansed. They didn't feel anything. And the strong men who threw them in there, the strong men, 
the king's best were burnt to death. And that's what happens when you come out the front and I call fire in the spirit, the strong men are going to burn off. They're going to die. They're going to perish. You've got to step out in faith. One, two, three, step, four, five, six, step. And when you see people shake, that's their problem, not yours. Hallelujah. It's good to shake. You know, I got my son at home. When he sits down, even at 14 years of age, if I rub him on the head, he loves it. Everyone likes a pat on the head, don't they? So when you get hit in the anointing and it shake the guts out of you, you go, wow, this is really good, Lord, I love it, hallelujah. <laughs> See, once you, whoa, <laughs> glory to, whoa, hallelujah. <laughs> I came here to demonstrate. You talk about him, what preaches, whatever you preach will manifest. But that's what God wants to do. He wants to use the fire. So when you hear me calling fire, it's because God's telling me that you need the fire. Some people need the prophetic. I need a little bit of encouragement, a little pat on the head, all right? For some of us, we need the fire. All of us need it. We just talked about whatever you sow, you reap. If you come out with an earnest expectation to get blessed by God, you know, you, in your one, two, three steps, you can do the numbers, you can plead the blood, you can do whatever you like on your way out, you can in, way down, you can cleanse yourself in the name of Jesus. If this guy's got anything from you, Lord, I'll have it, but the rest of him I don't want. If you do all that before you come out here, have you got faith? You will get what you ask for. My first trip out of Australia was to see a church in, in, in wherever that place is, Canada. And I saw... And I said, I want. God said, well, are you prepared to pay for it? What do you mean, Lord? I want every cent. I want your children. I want your wife. I want your house. I want your time. I want your body, what it's worth. And 33 trips out of Australia in 11 years since. We used to own a house. We don't own it anymore. And I'm free. My wife is free. Are we perfect? Far from it. But we've been in the fire for 11 years. And I'd rather the fire than riches from men. Because it's an enjoyable experience. And you can mark things very easily when you walk in the fire of God. You can tell and you can discern very easily. Because as the purging process takes place and little grains come out of the gold in your life, you can see clearer and clearer when people are, are being honest and when people are trying to deceive you. And even when they are deceiving you, you can freely forgive them along the track. I know many of you have tried to pull the wool over my eyes. I couldn't care less. You know why? Because I'm dead. And dead men don't think. Hallelujah. Dead men don't have opinions. Dead men do as their father calls them. A dead man vessel is one who just pours out. He doesn't add a bit of rubbish in the drink. Well, I think, brother, you need a little bit extra. I'll throw that in. No, sir. An honest vessel will pour out from a, cl a clean vessel and to be a clean vessel you need to go through the firings hallelujah and the more firings and more firings and as you go through the firings you bring up dross and sometimes it hurts a little bit and you have to make a decision whether you're going to allow God to do the purging or not and you can say no Lord I'm not ready for that and God will say well that's okay but I'd rather do it now because I'm God and I know everything perfect and this is the timing to get dealt with and get set free. And it's very exciting as we go through this process. Now, as I said last night, it's eight months since I was here and quite a few of you are backslidden. It's been a hard eight months all over the world. The end times are upon us and the, the works of darkness are getting stronger. But in the middle of that, the works of light is far outpowering and far exceeding any works of darkness. We have to stand. We have to stand. We have to stand. If you're slidden backwards, you need to come out the front and get some fire. God wants to burn that unbelief out of you. And he will take you from a place of here and he will promote you. Hallelujah. Don't worry that you need to repent. You've been repenting over the last few days. God will take you from here and he will promote you. He will make you a leader over many. Hallelujah. In the realm of the spirit. You'll have greater authority than you've ever had. Don't worry that you've been sliding backwards. It doesn't matter. 
God couldn't care less. He's calling you. He's saying, come on in. The water's fine. Hallelujah. Just come and get a touch and I'll set you free and I'll promote you to a higher place in me. Saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, and we want that, don't we? We say, well, what's the point of all this? All this, you know, revival and shaking. And Is it working? Yes. It's in order then. The Coke machine, you get your Coke out of it, it says, sign on it saying out of order. It means it doesn't work. Yeah. If it's in order, it works. And if it works by shaking the guts out of you to change you, well, bring it on. Because I've said yes 11 years ago and the road I've been on, I've seen people levitate, I've seen gold fall out of the sky, I've seen limbs grow, I've seen fingers grow, I've seen people nearly dead come back to life, I've seen people had their brains cut out, grow new brains, I've had, seen all kinds of things that God will do in nine countries. I've seen every place I go he does something exciting. Every place I've been I shake. But the beauty of it is that God has a plan for everybody and he doesn't want to give up on us. And half the church says, no, we don't want that kind of power. We want respectability. We want something that we can sort of tiptoe through the tulips into heaven. And God's saying, no, I'm a great and mighty fire and I'm a consuming fire and I'll consume anything in you that needs to be consumed because my bride is spotless, hallelujah, and that's who I'm going to meet when I come back to meet my bride, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We need the fire of God, whether you like it or not. Praise the Lord. Under whose authority do you say these things? I say them under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of it. It's true. It's honest. It's real. It's tangible. You can jump in. You can drink. You can change. Stop getting other people to pray for your problems. Pray for them yourself. Take control of your own destiny in Christ. Hallelujah. Then when you come to fellowship, you have some value. You're adding, adding, adding into the fellowship. That is fellowship. Hallelujah. You get in any ship and you're in a ship's company and you don't pull your weight, you get thrown overboard. Build a bridge and get over it. The fire is here to purge you. The fire is here to cleanse you. The fire is here to change you. If you knew what I was like, if you knew I couldn't even stand in front of five people and say the name Jesus and what he's doing in my life, the changes in my life, I have a scripture and I have an understanding. I am a witness to the scripture. I've experienced certain things so I can portray it to you as the Holy Spirit gives me direction. Hallelujah. Because I don't have an opinion. The fire has worked that work in me in that area of my life. So I can freely flow these things into your hearts that are soft because you've been worshipping the Lord. You there, ready? We're on fire, mate. We are on fire. Hallelujah. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi. Look at here. That's you. That's you. And that's you. It's you. And you. He will purify us. We need... Fire. Hallelujah. There's not enough people preaching it because they don't understand it. They don't go through it. The fire is not just the sufferings out there. It's a supernatural anointing that comes to break the yokes off our lives. God says he's making us ministers of fire. What does that mean? Fire of God. The sons of Levi. And purge them as gold and silver. Well, we need a good old purge. That they shall offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Now that's really just an intro, induction. Because this, if we're having revival meetings every day, two a day, we'd have the teaching during the day, and then we'd have the revival meeting at night. So tonight's the night. Lord, I just thank you. That when I cry fire, that even though a person might shake, may not shake, that that anointing is going on to the person. And by faith I release it in your name. That they not only see it come on to their own life and work, work a deep work in them, but also that they can release that fire 
Lord, that they can release it into others to help them on their way as well. Because, Lord, you said you wouldn't leave us when you left, that you'd send another. And here's the comforter. And, Lord, that comforter made the earth and the universe. He hovered over the waters. And he made the volcanoes. He made the waters. He made the mountains. He made the streams and the rivers, Lord. And, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that you do that in our lives. Holy Ghost comforter, you're not just a softy, but you do whatever's necessary to complete the work of the Lord. So the Lord says, it is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to pray for people to release the fire. By faith, when you come out, you'll get it. If you don't shake, that's fine. You might shake in your bed tonight, but I guarantee you, because the word's faithfully preached, you will receive it. That's the deal. Jesus went around with signs and wonders following. We're supposed to do the same. According to his word. So, can I have four or five people up here for prayer? Whoever's ready. Just four or five, when they're prayed for, some more can come out. And then I want you to go back to your seat. And let, yeah, if you don't fall out, I want you to go back to your seat. Oh. Strong anointing on you tonight, sister. All right, just close your eyes. Can we have two catchers here, two men? Brother down the back from Kansas City. We need a strong young man up here. You need to have a drink too, brother. When I was a student in the Bible college and did revivals, we did two or three meetings a day, I would have caught half a million people. I had the worst back was constantly crying out for help, but I got anointed through it because the anointing transfers. It goes straight through to people. And if you don't receive the anointing God has for you tonight, it's going to come back to me. I'm going to get my 10% and it's going to go back to heaven because that's the way it works. All right. Come on. Lord, I just thank you. In Jesus' name, by faith, I release it. Fire, 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 fire. Clothing, fire, fire, fire. Double portion for him tonight, Lord. He sowed generously, reap with blessings in Jesus' name. <laughs>